Hello again, YouTube. This is The Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. On this video, we're going to talk about things that women do and say that ain't no coming back from. You shouldn't let them come back. Make sure I ain't got nothing. Okay, so a lot of people be talking about working it out, working it out, working it out. You ever notice how how quick these women move on. Y'all be basically trying to work it out with women who want to move on. You gotta let them move on. But you gotta limit that support though. Because part of moving on is them supporting themselves or getting another man to support them. But see, what these women like to do so they want to move on, but they want you to soften the fall. And that's not even fair. You know, in some cases where it's completely the guy's fault that the relationship uh, went sour, I get it. But what I'm seeing, and I'm, I'm like, I listen to the whole story. And guys, I be telling them, man, what you trying to leave out? I ain't leaving nothing out. Women just get tired of guys quick. Like, I gave you this strange red flag about the shoes. Like, the shoes, they could have all these pairs of shoes, these good shoes, match with their clothes, and they never wear them. They done already got tired of them. The thrill is gone. That's a red flag because they'll do you like that. See, the minute you not doing, and then what's crazy, what just shows me that a lot of the ex exes are evil is how the kids be like right in the middle of something that's just them. They never want to give the father the kids. They never, okay, well, the kids can live with you. I'll come over there while you're at work and I'll watch. You. you never you never hear about situations like that. The situation we hear about is alimony and child support, making a guy pay their rent, and then uh, in some cases he can't even afford his own rent. This is why people tell you not to marry. And anybody that's advocating for marriage is your enemy I'm going to tell you because marriages fail too much for people to be advocating for it. especially people they might have a one cooperative one and they want to tell you to get married like it's going to be easy for you to find somebody like that or like them it's not it's not so let's get into this list. The number one thing that women do, there ain't no coming back from, of course, is cheating. It's cheating. See, women don't understand that it's not the same for a guy as it is for them. They want to believe it's the same. It's not. It's not. Either party can catch a STD. But it's not the same because, okay, for instance, what what if he what if he's bigger than your boyfriend or your husband? He's gonna y'all heard about the Adam 22, how his wife got stretched out in a video, and he talking about snapback. Man, that dude is a simp. That's why I don't get off into tattoos, man. That don't mean nothing. That don't make you tough. And that don't mean you not a simp. He let that do. Your wife is supposed to be off limits to other men. He let that do for money. Stretch his wife. So the number one thing is cheating, obviously. Obviously. Don't let no woman cuck you. Talking about open relationship. Why have one? That's, that's just simpy to me. And that's like the only thing 
that Patrice O'Neill was doing that made me look at it like he not all the way red pill. It's how he was letting other guys get to his girl. So, the next thing that women do that there's no coming back from is denying you sex. Now, if you go, I can see her, like, on her period that week, of course. But then you should never be getting denied. Like, if you get denied, like, if she's sick, okay, you're sick. And uh, you should be considerate enough. When she's sick, all right, well, we won't do nothing. But when she's well, she shouldn't go longer than maybe two or three weeks at the at the longest. She start going past three weeks, now she's emasculating you, especially if she doesn't want you to deal with other women. When she start going months, years, ain't no coming back from that. It's time for you to start looking elsewhere, and it's time for you to start looking into putting her away. Kids or no kids, man. I'm telling you, you can't let women do you like that because that's rebellion, and that rebellion is going to put uh, sorcery and witchcraft in your house. This is why you got to be careful when you become one with these women because that's one of the reasons because if they not listening to you, they don't respect you, or they have some type of motive for even being with you and staying with you, the devil is going to plead before God morning, noon, and night to bring problems in your, your body, problems in your, 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 with your kids, problems in your finances. That's why Peter said that your prayers be not hindered. He knew that that causes hindered prayers. Me just seeking God about that type of stuff alone, I learned that just from seeking Him. The Most High, <laughs> y'all will be amazed. Y'all will be amazed at His viewpoint on relationships and marriage. You know, and if you know how to see God like I do, like he said, you are the man. You're in charge. This is this is what the most I be saying. You know what else he be saying? Stop arguing with her. That's not easy to do. Stop arguing. You're in charge. You just say how it's going to be, and that's how it's going to be. But women are trying to See, women be playing around with the devil and the devil be whispering in their ear, just like Eve. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'm giving you a deep revelation. Adam didn't just go along with eating that fruit. It took a while to convince him. I'm telling you, man, I know how to seek the most high. I'm telling you, I know this, this is the truth. This is a hidden truth. It took a while to convince him that's why he didn't talk to Eve the book the book says in the book of Adam and Eve said he didn't talk to Eve for 40 days he was fasting trying to get back in with the most high for 40 days he, he would not talk to Eve so when they start denying you sex like if you come to them for sex and they say no, then what they're what they're doing is they're unconsummating the marriage. That's what they're doing. Because sex was part of the the, the deal. Like, really, only women that's supposed to like guys can marry whoever they want. But the only biblical woman for marriage is virgins. That, that's just the way it is. That's why I said, read on marriage in the Bible. You, if you think I'm not right about this, read on marriage in the Bible. It's, it's for virgins. 
And that's one of the reasons why they fell because she ain't gonna forget all the tongue kissing, all the touching, and all that other stuff she was doing. Then guys put their hands in there. That's not a real virgin. A real virgin is somebody that was not touched in those ways. That's a real virgin. Because virginity is part of the mind too. See, the reason why he required, one of the main reasons is because the husband is supposed to, like remember, blood matters in the Bible. Why you think them peoples do the stuff they do? The husband is supposed to be the one to break open the seal of the wife. And the blood is supposed to be part of that covenant. But most people, no, no. You be guys be marrying chicks that done had sex with practically 15 dudes and done lost their virginity 25 years prior. And you think that all is going to be well with somebody like that. It's rarely ever well with somebody like that. I ain't trying to hear about people posing on Facebook, but she go on girls trip and be getting down with dudes. He getting down with women while she on her girls trip. That's, listen, man. That little hiding stuff, that's not polygyny. Lying, not polygyny. And the Bible didn't con condone polyamory. The only thing that's condoned with poly in it is polygyny. So, next thing. So we got number one, cheating. Number one was cheating. We got number two, which is denying you sex. And when she starts getting up in that six month you ain't had sex with her in six months, but she's requiring faithfulness and don't want you to watch P.O.R. in as in normal. No, she emasculating you, man. You being emasculated, man. You're being emasculated. So number three. Number three is because when she consistently disrespects you, you got to draw the line on that and you got to get her to stop doing that. And if she won't, you got to get rid of her, man. See, y'all be trying to, I know you don't want to be away from your kids, but you're going to waste your life with some of these women who do these things. Because some of the women done did all three. They done cheated on you. They done denied you sex. And they be disrespecting you. And you still with them. You don't think nothing of yourself. You don't think nothing of yourself. What example are you giving your sons? What example are you giving your sons if you let your wife run the show and bully you? You're not showing them nothing. Just like she ain't showing your daughters nothing. If she always fighting and arguing and playing those games. So. That's number. Number three. Number four. Is a lot of this has to do with consistency. Because you know they emotional creatures. So you got to give them a chance to uh is he flipping his finger up that is, this is why people be getting shot I think this dude was flipping me the bird for no reason I don't got nothing to do with what he doing this but see this like stuff like that these guys clearly have not been raised by men. I never saw my father flip anybody to bird while he was driving. 
in all my years of life. I've never seen them do that. Never. These guys are raised by women. These guys, even when they father there, they don't be liking they father. They be more closer to their mother. And that's why some of them be acting like that. So let's get back. Let's get back into this. The next thing is emotional affairs without apology. You see how all these things come together? I'm basically describing a woman that's not yours, that has your last name in some cases, wants your last name in other cases, but is not yours. She's not yours. She's not yours. A lot of guys are with women that's not even theirs. It's somebody else. Somebody else has her heart. Somebody else has her respect. But you're the one that have to take care of it. voodoo. That's straight voodoo. Straight witchcraft. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You, you literally have to know how to pray around it when you're dealing with an uncooperative woman. Who don't respect you. And, and yeah, these women will play games like they're doing so great once you ain't with them. That's what they try to do. But that just proves the witchcraft. That proves the witchcraft. Listen, a lot of these women be claiming God, but witchcraft done took over. When they try to act like everything is fine and dandy and they done broke your family up. They would look at the look um, look at the first ones that I don't mention on this list. And and you tell me, is that a person that loves God, that's worshiping God, that's praising God? Because uh, according to him himself. It's not. Because when you get married as a woman, you showed the most high your adoration for him through your husband, what you do for him. Like the Bible says, how can you love a God that you can't see? And you can't even love the person that's committed to you on earth that's doing this, doing that. The minute you make a mistake, the minute you fall off, they want to end everything. That's how you know you married the wrong one. Because the right one is going to be trying to lift you up. If you fall on the ground, they're going to be trying to lift you up. They're not going to be kicking you while you're down. That's what the right one does. They kicking you while they down, while you down, right? And blaming you for everything at the same time. Kicking you, blaming you. Want you to be like everybody else. When they get mad at you, here's another thing. Here's another thing. When they get mad at you and they consistently compare you to other guys like them other dudes is better than you, it's time for a decision. It's time for a decision. Listen, man, none of them want to hear about what they do. Some women are less rebellious than others. A lot of them, a lot of them don't want to receive correction and they in rebellion. All I got to do is look at if you on YouTube talking slick to some guy and your husband knows about it, he's a simp. If he don't know about it, you're not showing him respect. Like if, and if he told you to stop, stop arguing with those guys on YouTube and you still doing it. If your boyfriend who's supposed to be one day, you hope he'll be your husband. If he telling you stop arguing with those guys on YouTube and you still doing it, you're not a catch. It's almost like anybody who know about fishing, you fishing for a perch and you catch a bullhead. 
A lot of y'all dudes done caught a bullhead. Done caught an Asian carp. You ain't catch no perch. You ain't catch no walleye. You ain't catch no whiting. You done caught a Asian carp. And it's time for you to get your hook off that Asian carp. Throw that Asian carp back in the water. And go fish for some perch. You done, you done caught a poison fish. Or some of y'all, it was a perch at first. Or you know how imitation crab. You was, you was fishing for crabs. You put your net out there. And you done caught some imitation crab. It tastes like crab. But it's not real crap. So, that's the next thing. Emotional affairs without apology. When you catch them texting the dude. When you catch them doing this and you catch them doing that. Before the activity got done. And they don't apologize. Or they apologize is fake. Their apology is fake. So, those are some of the things. The next thing is when you catch her up in too many lies. I can see one or two, but when you start catching her up in three lies, four lies, five lies, it's, it's very disheartening. Like, if you know how to vet like me, and you catching them, catching them, catching them up in line. And you learn, well, I'm not going to even say that I caught you up in that line. We ain't going to bring that up just yet. You're like, man, what happened? I missed it. You start catching her up in three, I can see one or two. Some of it, you can, even the one or two, sometimes you can't get back from those. But like, when it start getting higher than that, no, man, not good. Hey, hold on, let's see. Look. And then, this how I know, this how I can identify the hit dogs. The hit dogs are going to come in my comments trying to defend the actions of the women that I'm describing. See, I'm not talking about unicorn. I'm not talking about the good women, the couple good women it is. I'm talking about the fake, fake good women. I'm talking about the masquerader women. I'm talking about the chameleons. I'm talking about the interview face women. You know how in the interview, and I keep bringing this up, the interview face when they smile, they present themselves well, and they seem like the right fit. But then over time, you start saying that you hired the wrong person. You know, I don't, don't be saying, I don't be telling you why you talking about me. I shouldn't be able, this should not apply to you. If it applies to you, don't get mad. Change it. But one thing I don't like is women who try to be good for the, the next man. But they done taxed this dude. Done took all his money. Done, done, done. Argued and fought him for years. And now they want to act right for the next dude. That's why stuff don't be going right. That's why the second marriage divorce rate is higher than the first. But anyway, I think I covered that enough. I got to get going. This is a big money day for me. So we'll be back.
We'll be back with Isaiah 4 and 1 later. But until then, this is The Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel.